Thank you, Ryan. Hello, Luke. Hello, um, Andre. Uh, question for both of you, and I've asked this uh, last week of someone else, but I just want to get your opinions as two senior players. How important is keeping this winning momentum between World Cups and, and creating the legacy, a sustainable sort of body of work? Uh, that the Springboks are, you know, ser becoming serial winners. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a vital sort of driving force in the squad? I'll take it away. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, it's obviously important. Uh, World Cups are massive, uh, but in between, you still you still want to achieve things and still there's a lot of, like, there's three championships to be won and, and a lot of stuff that, that goes on in between World Cups. And I think for us at the moment, definitely we want to keep that winning momentum um, and at the same time build some squad depth and get some guys to get some experience and gain some experience before the next World Cup because obviously that's a massive solve for us and that would be great if we can achieve uh, winning a World Cup again. Thank you. And then uh, for Luet, uh, for first potential cap for Nicolas, uh, your thoughts on his inclusion? Yeah, I think it's great. I think he's He's played in France now for a couple of years at Montpellier and he's done very well there. Um, he's, he's one of the key players and, and, and he runs the line out there as well. So I think he's been good training with us this, this last couple of weeks. He really works hard in training and, and off the field his analysis of the line outs and stuff. So I think it's a great opportunity for, for him and, and I'm excited to see what he can do. Thank you. Luet Kanyesu, you up again? Um, thanks, uh, thanks, guys. Um, Luat, question for you, man. Are you able to just talk us through your career and its highs and its lows? I mean, whenever you try find you find some momentum, you get injured, you get injured in tournaments, you get injured outside of tournaments. Just talk us through the highs and lows of your career, please. Yeah, um, I think I've been fortunate enough to to be part of of, of the real highs, and I've been unfortunate enough to be part of the real lows as well in, in, in uh, South African rugby over the past few years. Um, yeah, obviously I had a few more injuries than, than the usual, the normal guy. Um, but that's part of the journey, that's part of my journey. I believe everything happens for a reason and, and you need to adapt and, and hopefully overcome those things and, and come back stronger. So for me, it was just always seeing that every injury, as bad as it is and as, as, as disappointed as you are when it happens, is, is part of your journey and uh, yeah, everything happens for a reason. Thank you, Luit. Justin Ford. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, Luit, just for you, you team up with Marvin Ori on Saturday as a lock combination. Just your impressions of Marvin. Um, the coach earlier mentioned that, you know, he played a big role during the Lions series, sort of emulating Mario Toje and so forth. But just your impressions of Marvin and potential, what you, you can expect from him on Saturday? I think he's, uh, he's, he's impressed me uh, really with his, with his work rate um, in training and, and how hard he trained on the other side, preparing us for the Lions. And the standards that he keeps in training is, is really high. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's an intelligent guy, understands the lineouts, he works hard. Um, he knows his role, he understands what he needs to do, so I, I think he'll, he'll do a good job for us on Saturday and I think he, he'll go well. Thank you, Lloyd and Justin. Right, uh, Ken Bolin, over to you. Okay, we can't hear you, Ken. Uh, we'll come back to you. Uh, Liam, you're up next. Hi guys, a uh, question for Luit. Luit, can you please tell us um, how difficult or complicated is it to, to get fully match fit without actually playing matches? I mean, how, how, talk us through that process, please. <laughs> um, yeah, I think for, for me, a guy that's not naturally a fit guy, it's quite hard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you try your best um, in training and whatever you can do to, to be as fit as possible, but obviously nothing comes close to, to the game intensity and what you need to do in a game. Um, so it's, it is tough, but it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, um, I think all of us didn't have the preparations we, we would like to have before before the Lions, but that's life. Um, but uh, yeah, I think, I think I got COVID as well, just when I was back from injury, got COVID and then yeah, it was just, this is what it is, but you need to accept that. Again, like I said earlier, I think it's part of life, it's part of your journey. And uh, But yeah, it's tough to, to get match fitness um, 
if you don't have a proper preseason or a long rehabilitation period where you, do, where you can do a lot of fitness and, re, and really focus on, on, on simulating match situations in your training. Um, so yeah, for me it's tough sometimes. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Luit. Um, let's just try one more time for Ken. Ken, are you able to hear me? And um, you can fire a question if you are able to. So, okay. No. Um, right. Let's move on. Uh, Han you you up again? Thank you very much, Lord. Another one for you, man. I just uh, one of my colleagues have mentioned the question about standards. Um, how easy, difficult has it been for you to maintain uh, South Africa's high standards at lock? And for you, Andre, I mean, there's been a lot of criticism, especially abroad, um, about the spring boxes, the method of attacking, the method of how they go forward when they play rugby. Do you feel that has been warranted? Uh, yeah, I'll go first with the, the standards. Yeah, obviously, uh, if you look at the history of Springbok rugby, it's always been the locks, always been one of the best positions, and there's some legends that that's played in that jersey. And I think at the moment in the squad, there's guys uh, who have done very well in that jersey, and there's, there's great competition and good competition uh, for places. So I think it's always a high standard, and every time you get selected, uh, it's a massive honour. But it's also, you know, it's a massive responsibility to go out there and perform and make sure you you make that jersey proud and what it stands for. You you make that, you know, make it proud. Thank you, uh, Adnan Mohammed. Um, other guys, uh, just a question for Luit. Um, just your thoughts on the 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 challenge that the Argentinians will pose in the lineout. Um, nothing has been said about them and the threat that they will pose. Just your thoughts on that. Oh no! I think they um, they've got exceptional lineout forwards. Uh, I think a guy like uh, uh, Guido Petty and Matera as well. Uh, I think they are very underrated in the lineout, and people don't give them the respect uh, that they warrant. There, I think they they're a very very good uh, uh, lineout contesting team. Um, also very physical uh, when it comes to malls, and, and they like that confrontation. So for us as a pack, it's a massive challenge against them. Um, I think. People are, a lot of times think that they are this, they play with this Argentinian flair and this beautiful running game, but they're actually a very tough team and they're actually well organized come set piece time and they put you under pressure. Um, and obviously, they play with a lot of passion and physicality, so it's going to be a massive challenge for us on the weekend. Thank you. Percy, Ian Frago Potato, as it is. Here. 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 Thank you, Ryan. Um, Lood, um, ja, maar dat ik een vraag moet herhalen, maar net um, kortelijks in Afrikaans weer, het moet een groot voordeel geweest om in je vijftigste te toets te kan spelen hierin na weer. En ik moet niet weten, hoe, 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 hoe vaar je op, op flank moet je vandaag kan mondelijk vacateren daarvoor wees? Als ik eens bij die laatste deel van je vraag wat ik van mij zeg weer. Ik moet niet weten, hoe vaar je, het je al enigszins op, op internationale vlak op flank gespeeld, vandaag kan mondelijk vacateren daarop is daarom wees. Percy, me, I, I think you think also that I flung a spell as by a clay. Um, I think it's not a better cause than if a France my larva flung the spell. Yeah, um, yeah, I think that Percy will be only because I'm not being slow to the law. I'm not all. Um, I get a lot of exposure to the flung, and that is, I think, it is in the plan and only ma. I said, I'm like, yeah, so this springbok, as if the springbok can spell in a position, so I like it do, but I'll be only because I'm not. Um, op, op die slot. Ja, maar uh, Lotte, ik moet je feit dat je feit als de wedstrijd speelt, meneer. Dat moet een voordeel zijn om mijn mailpool te halen op internationale vlak. Ja, nee, definitief. Um, dit is een ongelooflijke voorrecht. En, en het gaat zo vanaf uh, voorbij. Um, ik heb dan nog gepraat van die journey en die ups en downs en, en alle goed. Uh, maar ja, dat is een voorrecht en dat is een voorrecht om het te doen. Som, oh, als het hier lang pad zo kom, oh, zoals André, ik kan hij. We hebben onze eerste uh, start samen gehad in 2014. Uh, we komen al een lang pad in die bezering zijn verloren en winnen en, en alle goed in alle hele journey. Dus so, ja, het is dus voor mij speciaal om het om het samen met die groep aan te doen. Nou, maar het samen met mij op die veld op mijn vijftigste is voor mij een groot voorrecht en ja, dat dat ik vaak op gewonnen voor het. Dank je, Percy. Is dat dit? Ik wil graag van André een vraag vragen die moeilijker is. Dan voor, dank je. Dan sluit ons af daarmee.
ek sê vir jou baie dankie, um, ander in het kortliks, as, as die generaal wat nou weer terug is, meneer, as jy van die, van, van die kant en af, kijk, jy het die gerus, jy daar as technische man van die kant en af, kijk, saad terug, um, wat moet jylle aan werk hierdie naweek in Argentinië, van hulle is natuurlijk seer gemaakt hierdie naweek, en hulle gaan natuurlijk op mening wil terugkom hierna. Um, ja, plus, ek denk, hulle, ek breng het op, want hulle gaan, hulle gaan baie misschien naar West Denk, en hulle gaan verskrikkelijk hard kom, um, kom saterdag, hulle, hulle is baie trotse nasie, en trotse spelers, en hulle weet, hulle was nie vir die beste geweest saterdag nie, so, vir ons is het maar net, het ons, ons plan, het ons het, 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 het nie gewerk in Norweek, maar ons nog steeds baie vir die dus kom beter doen, um, maar die ouders wat gespeel het, het een great job gedoen, so, het gaan maar meestal gaan, oor die nieuwe ouders wat nou direct inkom met al die veranderinge, om hulle op die selde plaatsen te kry, so gauw as moendlik, en dan uit te gaan, en, en nog beter te doen, al ouders wat laatst nou nie gespeel het, het een baie hoge standard gesit, en uh, is nou, het is nou ons verantwoordelijkheid om om die selfde te gaan doen, en wat blik beter. Baie dankie, Lood, baie dankie, Polly, eerstens vir julle geduld, en tweedens, ons is klein bykie oor tyd, maar nou ja, baie dankie. Uh, thank you guys, thank you uh, to the attending media,